party. Thank you. Larissa Wall. Maloe Lele, Mr Chair. It's Tongan Language Week. Um, and I also want to take the opportunity just to say kia kaha to our colleague uh, Nikki Kay uh, at this time. Um, Mr Chair, um, I'm uh, going to just outline a process of me trying to understand what this uh, part uh, two of this bill is trying to achieve. So we're here debating the Housing Legislation Amendment Bill, uh, which seeks to amend the Housing Accords and Special Housing Areas Act of 2013. Part two uh, is about amending the Housing Act and refers specifically to uh, sections 40 to 42 of the Public Works Act. And I just want to um, look at those sections uh, of the uh, Public Works Act. Um, so section 40 is about the disposal to former owner of land not required for public work. Uh, section 41, disposal of former, former Māori land when no longer required. Uh, and Section 42, disposal in other cases of land not required for public work. And I think the emphasis on public work in all those sections actually um, means we should look at the definition of what public work is uh, under the Public Works Act of 1981. And the definition of public work uh, in um, subclause A uh, is, and I quote, every government work or local work that the Crown or any local authority is authorised to construct, undertake, establish, manage, cooperate or maintain, and every use of land for any government work or local work which the Crown or any local authority is authorised to construct, undertake, establish, manage, operate or maintain by or under this or any other Act and include anything required directly or indirectly for any such government work or local work or use. So the definition of public work actually is really clear. It has to be undertaken by the government or it has to be undertaken by a local authority. Uh, because we take land that uh, is owned by New Zealanders, citizens, uh, but we take that land for the greater good. And so the government does do this uh, and has done this uh, for many times in the development of our communities, of our society. The interesting question that I have uh, for the Minister in the, in the Chair is of the 154 uh, SHA, so Special Housing Areas in Auckland, how many of those involve state housing land? Because actually that cuts to the heart of this specific uh, part of the legislation. Because uh, in essence, those SHAs actually, when you look at the definition of public work, don't fit. And I want to highlight two developments um, that, are, that have been highlighted through the passage of this bill. The first one is the Clarks Beach Road, um, uh, Clarks Beach Tranche 10 development. That development is actually being undertaken by Knight's Investment. The other people who applied for a resource consent to Auckland Council to undertake that build. So the government is not building the 110 houses in Clarks Beach. Auckland Council is not building the 110 houses in Clark's Beach, but Knight's Investment is. So by definition, under what constitutes public work, that's not public work. And if we've used state land for this development, then actually there is an issue. And we should have looked at who that land was acquired from, and we should have provided an opportunity for that owner whose land was taken for the public good uh, to have a right at least to say whether or not they wanted to buy that land back. And that actually is what this opposition, uh, our opposition to this part of the bill is all about. And we could have had some of these questions answered. I, I could have known um, if we had a select, select committee process and the officials could have answered how many of the 550, oh, sorry, 154 uh, special housing areas in Auckland involved state housing land. We know that in Tamaki it does. So, um, you know, what has been uh, the relationship between that development uh, and um, the local iwi, for example? Have they been offered the first right of refusal? Um, the other piece, the other development that I managed to find um, the developer for was the Red Hills Fred Taylor Drive Whenua Pai Tranche 4 development by Hugh Green Limited, Westgate Joint Venture, 
in Nooch Trust. trust. And in fact, we're here because. Chris Hipkins. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And I'm happy to take a call on this bill in 